Vallejo, finally get the first win in your career against these guys. Yeah. Uh, got a little antsy at the end there, though. Yeah, yeah we didn't close the game out well at all. We missed too many free throws. We had a lot of mental mistakes, but you see, I'm happy we won the game so we can learn from the mistakes we made and use it thing going forward. Mm -hmm. But it was good. I'm happy we won. Finally, it's been been a whole career out of beating yet. So you talk about JJ's big shots. Man. Seemed like one after another. Yeah, most of huge. I've been getting on him lately. He's been missing shots in practice. <laughs> so he's not a shooter, but he came today and it was huge for us today. He was lift, and I love him. Man. I love him for that. Did you have something ticked up in your locker room saying that you hadn't beaten Sienna in so many days or something like that? Was no, like, oh, no, no, none of that. Okay. None of that. We just we wanted to win. You know I'm saying we work we work hard every day in practice. We get we had a little losing streak. We trying to go on and win win the streak now. We just working hard. So that's it. What were the three threes you hit during that stretch? Uh, that run. Uh, you just saw some opportunities against the zone there, uh, or what? Yeah, I just felt it. You know, and uh, I had the space, and one of the passes came from him. He just told me to keep shooting. So I love bringing him tonight. There's a couple of times it looked like you guys were had the game in hand and then they would creep back in and you knock them back again. Um, did you ever kind of, being that you guys hadn't beaten them before, did it ever get in your heads that maybe we're letting this thing slip away? Um, seeing as a top team, you know, uh, they're one of the top teams in the conference. And with our conference, you really can't ease up any of the teams, no matter how big a lead is. So we knew that they, if they knock down shots, then they will come back in the game. But we can still play that game and keep our head up. I think we have to work on, have to work on closing games out. We have a lot of teams down 10, 12. For some reason, we just let them back in the game every game. So we have to work on that. But the team's a tough team. They have a lot of experience, and they're not going to quit. Like, no team in the MAC wants, wants to lose. Right? Every, every game is going to be tough down to the wire. I mean, they did the same thing to you in Albany. Came back and were down 12 early. Did you have a mindset like, we're not going to let this happen again? Or, you know, yeah, we just try to learn from every game. And we, we came, they came back. They're a good team. It's not going to be easy. So we just got to keep fighting. And so we had to keep fighting. Mike, it looked like nothing came easy for Ross there on offense today. What, were you guys really focusing on him, and what did you do defensively to kind of limit him? Yeah, uh, we we watched a lot of film on Ross uh, from the last time we played him at Siena. You know, uh, our job tonight was pretty much just limit his touches. You know, as far as his, his, his inside presence, um, and I think we've done well. They have done a pretty good job with that today, and um, I've. I've, I've just found out in the locker room that uh, this is the first time that you know uh, our school has been in Siena, so I'm, I'm proud of the scenes of uh, Leo and and Uncle Sean for that. If you're losing those four close games in a row, what does it mean to the team to pull out of a tight one at the end? Um, well, we have a tendency of of celebrating early out in games, and we have uh, I think uh, our, our problem now we have we have to close out games like within the whole 40 minutes. Um, but you know. Uh, we still have a uh, lot of weeks left for practice. Uh, we have a big game uh, Sunday. We just have to just keep working. Um, can't be satisfied with this one tonight. We just have to just get back in the gym tomorrow and just work out. Did John Braden surprise you guys at all, uh, throwing in for Brookings? Uh? No, we uh, watched a lot of, like you said, we watched a lot of film on CNN. So both of their guards are good, you know. You even go back to Ronald Moore, they have good guards coming out of CNN. So him stepping up tonight was good on him. Yeah, there's not a lot of film on him, though, is there? I mean, what, what did you guys expect out of Breeden coming into Like He was the star at the beginning of the year, so he lost. The other guy got the starting spot, Brooks, but we needed to come in and play and try to understand. We we had a different game plan, but the game plan we were going to sag off him a little bit, and he was able to knock down. Down the stretch, like Chinese water torture? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, the guys like to see me, my hair turn gray, so they get the best impression of the trying to give their game away. Um, Played really well for about 38 minutes. The last two minutes we didn't uh, finish the way you'd want, but you know, finished strong enough to speak it out. You could hold them to two points over like an eight minute span when you guys pulled away. What do you like about your defense? I thought we were really active that period of time. I thought we were pressuring the ball well. I put our help on the post before I you know, helped them cover it. We went in there and we covered it out. And, uh, we really rebounded the ball. Guys like Leo Rodriguez, Mike Love, the other guards, Jenkins and White each had five rebounds each. I think we tied them on the boards, which for us being a small team, that was great when we could do that. It was pretty determined to let Rossi take the game over. He was the way he did up there. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what well, our number one goal is to make someone else beat us. I thought Breeden was going to do it the way he came out tonight. <laughs> you know, man possessed. He did a great job. How much did you talk about having beat for five years? How did you perform the game? What does it mean? Well, a lot because for the seniors, like nobody on this team has ever beaten them. And I talked about before the game of the only way that you ever get past that type of team is you got to go out and get it done. You know, get all the excuses. You have to find a way to win and basically exercise the ghost of Siena that's been 
you know, clouded over them since they've been in this program. Oh, sorry. Stuff together. Does that mean anything to you? I'm just blessed I'm able to do it this long. I know that's great. I'm in the coach and great people I've become friends with. I'm really happy just to be a part of it. I'm glad it's got him, but he's the coach of the city. And JJ, he seems like a different guy at the hot hand. Night in, night out with you guys. Yeah. Now, JJ, sometimes it's Sean. Um, he seems just like he was feeling. Yeah, you know what? I, last game he struggled. We didn't play him as much as we like either because Sean came out and played well. And I thought one of the things he's giving him a start tonight, I thought he'd give him a different perspective on the game. And he maybe came out a little bit more aggressive than he did and really gave us a nice start. And late in the game, he, was, he actually called a play for himself, which JJ never does. So I knew he was going tonight and he was full of confidence. Good. You guys have anything? 